And the world started to rain down glitter. The streams didn't stop. Swamps filled with silvery specks shaded by golden flecked trees up above. The people stayed inside, admiring the beauty. From inside, the world felt like a kaleidoscope, sunlight dripping on iridescent floors and bouncing off of roofs. The people stayed inside, not because the glitter would hurt them, but because the sparkles created a life outside that they didn't have to touch, just admire. She sat in her bed, staring outside. It all felt so unreal. The same trees she'd seen every day looked new like autumnal change. It's pretty out there, but if I go out, will I ruin it? Will it turn into a Pride Street Festival after the rain pours and streets clear and all that's left is the muddy slush of footprints stomping to the train, fleeing the streets with love in their hearts but broken glass and sopping wet celebratory flags left behind in gutters and chutes? Without the energy of people cheering in lines parallel, the land feels barren and dirty. Two men on horses fog into the distance. She feels this is the Earth's Pride Parade, Mardi Gras, 4th of July. The trees whistle and sing as winds blow through their branches. Birds shimmy and spin as they shake off glitter. What place does she have out there? Like an empty city street after fireworks and booze, going outside would feel wrong. Let Earth celebrate and rain down glitter. She will stay inside. Drink a cup of coffee, open a book. She takes the time to make a space of her own. It's small, but cozy, and filled with things she loves and loved. Cracking the book open like a glow stick in July, she settles into place and turns off her mind. Lasts for a few page turns, a few chapters, until the thoughts seep back in. Like a record scratch, she peels away and stares out the window. No one is out. Still, the glitter is growing and she feels fine. Not good, not bad, fine. Will she be in this room of four walls and plush interior for long? Who's to say? She waits and breathes. She's fine inside. She's comfortable in here. The view is pretty and her sheets on her bed feel like love. What else would she have done today? This is fine. She falls asleep with low prescription glasses still on face. The glitter has sloshed with the morning dew and clusters have begun to clump in thick gooey chunks. Nature has mixed together, elements combining in their own free will without human touch. She stays inside watching movies she's seen a million times. 500 Days of Summer remains her go-to. The soundtrack swirls and she draws a plant. Peaceful. She's been Summer and Tom. Able to see both of their points, she notices the cinematography more than the story. Color scheme is pretty. Not as nice as outside. She doesn't want to go out. Too lazy. Too comfortable in. The glitter looks pretty from the window. She wakes up late since her sleep schedule has become staying up till 2 and waking up at 12. She checks the weather before checking the window. 80 degrees and sunny. Just enough humidity in the air to feel like a warm embrace. She puts on shorts, a tank top, and an odd matching pair of snow boots to trek through spring snow of glitter pools. Feet away from the door, her phone screams, look, in its methodical beep. She rushes back upstairs to grab the device that upon first glance beckons, don't go outside. The glitter substance is harmful and can easily be spread. Citizens report the substance stuck in their hair, embedding itself into their brain days after their last shower. She stops and considers. Yes, this is a message from the government, the president, but what does he know? She's never listened to him before. Why start now? She closes the front door and retreats back upstairs to research. It was comfortable inside. The view was pretty. Now it feels forced and cramped and without solace. Wakes up, opens weather app, 
please be sunny. It is. A tab appears to the right. A new feature, the glitter forecast. Heavy pile-ups of the sparkling dust are recorded. It's one foot deep in her small county, rising higher in cities despite the different climates amongst them. She begins to ponder why the glitter is falling, why it hasn't stopped. Global warming and climate change doesn't seem like an effect of the water cycle. A ploy on the American people put on by the government to distract the people from the upcoming election? More likely, but still strange. This glitter can't just fall down from the sky. Bing! A notification from a news app pops up on her phone. The glitter crisis we have brewing over the country is not being taken lightly. There is no way to stop the glitter at this time, but we urge you to stay inside and avoid the substance. She clicks on a follow-up article, one reporting on an influx of hospitalizations due to the natural disaster. Natural. Sure, she thinks. About as natural as Kylie Jenner's face. She continues to scroll. Most hospitalizations have been kids under five that have ingested the substance. What? She screams out loud. Her mind is racing. She thought this was just a mess that needed a street sweeping team, but it seems to be bigger than that. She takes a nap or goes to sleep. It's only 7 p.m., but her sleep schedule has taken the brunt of her anxieties. She's suffering because she can't smell the flowers in her favorite nature conservatory. She can't sit for hours sipping on a hot coffee turned cold as she watches strangers on the street from her favorite coffee shop table. Looking back on quotes she saved from when she was a teen. Don't compare. Ugh, they suck anyways. Sometimes young minds overflow. The heart remembers. You don't know how lovely you are. Your love is safe with me. She remembers the holes she was stuck in for so long. The holes she built, laid, and buried herself in. Back then, she chose to keep the blinds shut and not go outside. Now she is forced. What a sick trick the world has played on her brain. She wishes she invited her friends over and let them into her cave of solace. Now she cannot. The man on the news says the government is not to blame, but behind his stoic mouth she sees a tightening of the corners as a defense, hiding something from the viewers. His eyes cover up the truth with their melted chocolate glaze. She will find who's behind this. She will. She must. But how? Rosemary? Her friend's call from outside breaks the silence. Standing on the opposite side of the door, she says, Take off all your clothes. I'll give you a towel to wash up with. Are you okay? A pause. Yes, I just needed to be with someone. Gertrude muffles from outside. Risking your life for social interaction, a concept only humankind would be stupid enough to fall trapped to.